Hello and welcome back to Breaking Tech, Vision on TV's tech show here at the Open Tech Conference in London. And I'm with Sue Charman Anderson, who's going to talk about um, Ada Loveless, who before yesterday I hadn't heard of to my shame. And, and I think you should tell me who she is and why she's important for the development of computing. So Ada Lovelace uh, is the only legitimate daughter of the poet Byron. And uh, her mother was somewhat concerned that uh, Byron's poetic tendencies would corrupt poor young Ada. And so she had her schooled in science and maths from a very early age. And um, Ada ended up working with Charles Babbage. And Babbage invented um, the analytical engine and the difference engine, which are two machines that basically do computing. And what did um, Ada do? And Ada wrote what is often considered as the first computer program. So Ada looked at what the analytical engine could do and she wrote a program to uh, calculate the Bernoulli number sequence. And this was the first time that someone had actually looked at a calculating machine, uh, thought symbolically about how to get that calculating machine to calculate and had then written a program to do so. Um, Ada was way beyond her time. She saw the, uh, the, the analytical engine not just as a machine for generating large tables of numbers, which is what Babbage wanted. Um, she saw it as something that could, could go beyond numbers. In so she topped Babbage in, in that sense? In her thinking, definitely. In, in that she thought of it as something that could create music, that could create images, and that could do a lot of the things that we now commonly do on computers. So why have a day to celebrate her? So the day is named after Ada Lovelace, but it's actually about celebrating the women in science, technology, engineering and maths who are, have been working uh, over the last century, who are working now, uh, people who are achieving great things and who are mainly kind of unknown. So we're really after the unsung heroines of science and tech and celebrating what they've achieved. Why are they unknown? A lot of it, I think, is because when we look at the role models that we're familiar with, when we look at who gets the, uh, the props for achievements, it tends to be men. So when you're looking for um, just generally at what's happening in technology, you tend to find men. Women tend to take a back seat, uh, not just because historically it's been somewhat frowned upon for women to have big thoughts. I mean, we all know that if women read too many books, our heads explode. Um, but also, I think, because societal pressures tend to encourage women to take a back seat. So if you have a man and a woman working on a project, you can pretty much bet the guy's going to get all the applause and all of the, the recognition. I can think of countless examples in my own field, yes. Uh, so, uh, the, 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 um, well, I've got two questions really. One is, in reality, are, are women underrepresented um, in computing, in programming? Um, and, uh, or, or is it just that they're under-recognised? Both. So you have uh, the question that that I wanted to answer when we started Ada Lovelace Day was where are all the women? Where are the women speakers at conferences? Where are the women entrepreneurs? Where are the women developers? Where are the women VCs? And that's a really important question to answer because there are women who are excelling in these areas, but we don't hear about them. But there's another deeper question, which is why are there so few women in these areas? And that is a complicated social and cultural problem. There are issues around job opportunities. You know, women, women aren't daft. We know that for an equivalent job, a guy is likely to be getting more opportunity and more money for the same amount of work. We know we have to prove our worth five times over. Um, so there's a lot of pressure for women not to take jobs in the sort of science and tech areas. And do you, th do you think the situation is worse than say, I mean, I was reading last week that uh, the number of women in uh, British boardrooms has reached the the, the, the dizzy heights of 14%, one four. Um, are you, is, would you say it was worse in technology or, or, or is it the same problem? The, the, the type of problem is the same. 
Um, and, and I think, you know, it's, it's twofold. Firstly, it's, there is still, still discrimination. There is still misogyny. And we're not talking about the Gene Hunt 1970s, you know, way kind of discrimination. We're talking about much, much subtler problems. So being in, interrupted in meetings, not being invited to those meetings, being passed over for promotion, uh, not being consulted when there is something going on that involves you as a woman in your job. And, and these kinds of discrimination, I think quite often people don't realise it happens. It's so subtle, it's so under the table. And as a woman in tech, there are times when I've kind of gone, hang on a minute, did you just really say that? Is that really just discrimination that I just experienced? Or is it all in my head? And that is a really pernicious problem. If the discrimination was more overt, it would be much easier because then we could point to things and go, that is definitely wrong. You can definitely not say that. But because it tends to be much more, more subtle and more nuanced, it leads to doubt. And then when you have that doubt, you don't speak up, you don't act. And so really the the problem is, is, is a very difficult, complicated one to solve. And Ada Lovelace Day looks to achieve one thing, which is to improve the profile of women and their achievements in these fields. Because that's something really positive. It's something that we can do. We can encourage not just women to take the stage and talk about their achievements. We can also tell the journalists and the conference organizers look you know here are some really cool women doing really really cool stuff and you should totally get them on tv in your newspaper on your stage give us a, a url uh, to where where women and men can get informed and involved findingada.com thank you very much thank you we'll be back soon